Today, you're gonna to learn about HTTP status code 301, a 301 redirect. We're gonna do a brief overview on web protocol basics first, and then dive into what a 301 redirect is. I'm Tommy Griffith with clickminded.com. Let's get going. So before we dive deep into 301 redirects, I wanna talk a little bit about web protocol basics first. The internet is made up really of two core things, and that's clients and servers, right? So you have clients, web clients, that's your browser, right? Maybe it's Chrome, maybe it's Firefox, maybe it's Safari. If you're a godforsaken human being, maybe it's Internet Explorer. But if you're, <laughs> you're usually accessing the internet through one of these clients, right? Whenever you request a website, you're usually making a request from a web server. You make a request and the server responds. That's happening every single time you're clicking a link. You make this request using what we call the HTTP protocol. Okay, so protocols are really just standards that everyone on the internet has agreed to. It's no different than English or Spanish or Chinese. It's a language that we've all agreed to, right? So a client makes a request to the server, what happens next? Status codes let us know whether the request was a success, a failure, or something in between, right? That's what an HTTP status code is. Okay, so let's jump into each one of these next. So the 100 block, these are informational requests. Uh, the 200 block, those are successful requests. The 300 block are gonna be for redirects, redirection. 400 block will be for client errors and 500 block will be for server errors. The 300 block are for redirects, right? So you requested an address, but you were sent somewhere else. And there's a bunch of different types of redirects, right? A 301 redirect, a 302, a 304, 305, and 307. We're going to talk about all these a little bit more, but any status code on the 300 block will be a redirection uh, request. All right, so those are the basics around the HTTP protocol. Now let's dive into what a 301 is. HTTP status code 301 is a moved permanently response. This is a redirection, right? So in general, 301 redirects are like the godsend to SEOs. A 301 redirect is used anytime you're permanently replacing a URL for another URL, right? So users and bots are permanently moved to the new destination URL. The new URL usually replaces the old URL in search results and the old URL will also eventually disappear. Critically, and almost most importantly, link equity from the old URL is generally passed to the new URL. Anytime you're doing a site migration, anytime you're killing an old page and replacing it with a new page, you usually wanna be doing a 301 redirect. The 301 redirect is the redirect of choice for SEOs. You usually wanna be implementing this. Not a 302 redirect, which we also have a video on. 302 redirect is generally considered a temporary redirect. You don't wanna be doing that. 301 redirect is the way to go. So that's it, super simple. I hope that was useful. If it was helpful and you learned something today, go ahead and click subscribe down below for even more digital marketing tactics and tips from us. If you're on YouTube, leave a comment. I read every single one, would love to hear about it. Are you implementing a 301? Are you implementing a 302? I hope not. I'd love to hear about what you're trying to do on your site regarding redirections. Finally, if you want a comprehensive HTTP status guide, along with tools on how to check your own status codes, we have one for you for free. Go ahead and click the link down below to clickminded.com to grab that free downloadable now. Thanks a lot.